Let's go ahead and talk about the new BC160 crypto mining card that you can purchase and we do know about from AMD and XFX. Coming from WCCF Tech, this is hardware and this is no longer a rumor. So my joke doesn't apply anymore right now. But XFX BC160 crypto mining card available for sale. AMD Navi 12 GPU with 8 gigabytes of HBM2 priced at 2000 US dollars. AMD's board partners have repurposed their older Navi 12 GPU inventory for the crypto mining market in the form of the BC160. One such model leaked out earlier in October is now available for sale and priced at $2,000. AMD's Navi 12 GPU repurposed for crypto mining market. Blah, blah, blah. They always get me with that. Earlier, it was reported that XFX, a prime partner and AIB of AMD, was working on its very own crypto mining card. We have seen other AMD partners such as Sapphire and PowerColor also come up with their own mining cards, but these are based on the RDNA2 architecture. The XFX BC160 card is based on the much older RDNA1 architecture. In terms of the specifications, the AMD BC160 crypto mining card, which is being produced by XFX, features the 7 nanometer Navi 12 GPU with 2,304 cores packed with 36 compute units. The card has 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, which is awesome, clocked at 1.6 gigabits per speed per second pin speeds and run across a 2048-bit bus interface. So there are two stacks of HBM2 on board the package, each featuring two gigabyte stacks and a bandwidth of 512 gigabytes per second. Awesome. The card comes with a 150 watt TGP and has ETH outputting at 69.5 mega hash a second, which gives it a power per watt of, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> hash per watt of 0 0.46. This is lower PPW than the entry level RDNA 2 Navi 23 offerings, as illustrated below. Here's the thing that I'm leaning towards, though, and that is going to be that. We're looking at 512 gigabytes per second. I think it's going to be faster than this, but they're saying that with optimized settings, the card can deliver 72.3 mega hash a second at 123 watts, which provides a slightly better uh, PPW rating. Here are the screenshots. The card is optimized to run in Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat operating systems and can be utilized in a 12 GPU farm or mining rig, I assume is what they mean by that. The card itself features a dual slot design with a custom PCB and comes in both active cooling with a blower fan or a standard passive cooled design. Power is provided through a dual eight pin connector on the back. And just like every mining card, it comes with a headless design. So you can purchase it right now on AliExpress. Um, <laughs> I want to, but my Christmas my Christmas list was a little crazy this year uh, for personal reasons. So I don't know that I'm going to purchase it quite yet because I still want to be purchasing. It seems like the 3090s I'm able to purchase for 1800 a pop just make more sense. And I'm trying to actually make my mining farm, you know, maintain profitability. So for me, it's kind of like I want this for testing for the channel, but I, I also would rather have a 3090, I think. This could be faster than the 3090, though. It, it feels like it should be, right? Because if we look at RTX 3090 specs, if we look at that, let's just get into the nitty gritty. Give me the specifications right here. Does it list it here? Yeah, so memory interface is 384 bit. What does that calculate out to? Oh no, never mind. That's double 936 gigabytes per second. So yeah, like, I guess that would be about right. 72 mega hash a second in the 60s, right? So here's the, here's the listing on AliExpress. You can purchase it. I think there's 200 pieces available on this listing for 2000. And there were a couple other listings that you could purchase as well. So is it a good deal? Uh, we could calculate that out, right? I guess. So we could go to what to mine. We could plug in 
72 megahertz a second, 125 watts, and calculate that out. They do seem super efficient. That's 419 a day. If we popped open a calculator and we did, you know, 2000 divided by $4.19, you would be looking at a payoff time of 477 days. So the ROI is not great. And we don't know how it performs on other coins. We could probably get an idea, but at this point, it's kind of what you're looking at. It's not, it's not great. It's not great. But there you go. That's the release of the BC 160. In pretty much any other world or any other market, it would be. It sounds like it'd be amazing for mining. I'd purchase them and throw them in there. But you also need to keep into consideration that it's a headless design. Will more than likely not work in the resale market for basic desktop needs or gaming. So you won't have that resale ability that you would on other GPUs like an RTX 3090. And you just need to keep that in your sights and thoughts and on top of your head. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.